Hello everyone, thank you for choosing our video. In today's video, we're going to be answering the question, can thermal cameras see underwater? As I blend in our thermal layer here, we'll be doing this experiment in our kitchen sink. I turned on the hot water and you can see the color of the hot water on the thermal camera. It shows up as a red to white color. And if you look at the scale on the left hand side, it shows you the temperature of the water. And it goes up to around 47 degrees Celsius or 116 degrees Fahrenheit. When I turn on the cold water, it goes down to about 11 degrees Celsius or 51 degrees Fahrenheit. So here I'm just alternating between hot and cold so you can see the different thermal images that are created by the uh, different temperatures of the water. Okay, first up, we're going to be doing the experiment with hot water. Let me put the stopper into the sink and start filling the sink with hot water. Anyway, this is just regular tap water. The temperature is coming in at around 50 degrees Celsius or 120 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'll be putting my hand in, it, in this water, so it's going to be a little bit hot, not scalding, but tap water hot. Okay, I'm going to come with my left hand and put it into the hot water. And if you notice, you do not see any signature from my hand underneath the water. My hand changes temperature a bit when I pull it out, but you did not see it. Let's try it again. Since it goes under, you do not see my hand under the water. As soon as I pull it out, you still see it, and it has a temperature change because it got heated up by the water. So I'm going to come with it one more time, put it under, and you don't see it when it goes under. I'm going to cool down my right hand with cold water, and we're going to see if it makes a difference if the temperature of my hand is cooler if I put it under the water. So putting them both under, and they both disappear, so we cannot see under hot water. Our next experiment here, I'm going to come with a bowl of cold water. I'm going to put it into the sink of hot water and we'll see what will happen. Let me just top up the sink because it's a little bit low. And here's the bowl of cold water. And let me gently put the bowl of cold water into the sink and we'll see what will happen. You see the heat signature just briefly and then it blends in with the rest of the hot water. Okay, let me just remove the bowl. Let's go to an extreme here. What happens if we come with an ice cube and put it into water? Here's an ice cube. Drop it in, and you can still see the ice cube. It's not blending in, but that's because it's floating. So the surface of the ice cube is still above the surface of the water. So definitely you still will see the temperature difference there. Let me just speed up the video here a bit to help melt the ice a little bit quicker. But the temperature difference you see here is because the ice cube is floating. So you definitely see it above the water. And as it dissolves, it's, well, it's gone. Okay, second up is the experimenting with the cold water. Let me just put the stopper in and fill up the sink with cold water. I'll just fast forward it here so that it will speed up the video a little bit.
Okay, now that I have a sink of cold water, I'll come with my hands and I'll put one hand in and see if you can see the hand under the water. And you can't, it disappears completely. Do it with my right hand as well. And it disappears. So it appears that we cannot see our hands on a thermal camera when we put them underneath the water. Okay, now we're going to do the experiment as we did before, but kind of in reverse. We're going to come with hot water and put it into cold water and watch the results. Here as I drop it in, and you'll notice that the hot water floats on top of the cold water so we can see it. We can't see the bowl anymore because that has disappeared underneath the water. Okay, I hope we answered the question, can thermal cameras see underwater? And I think the answer is no, they cannot. Doesn't matter the temperature of the water as well. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Until next time, bye bye.